All right, and change batteries. I'm still aboard here. Still on the hair side, and we're still just continuing to work. <clears throat> on Piper here. She's starting to figure out how to move her feet off the squeeze and bend her nose just a little bit. And we're kind of just putzing around here and making life good for each other. Rick had to get down off that rail to go over there where she keeps her cameras and stuff to <coughs> get the batteries. So I faced her up uh, at first with her good eye on deck to watch her go over there. And then on the way back, I faced her up with her good eye to transition to her bad eye uh, when Vic got back up there to the camera. And it didn't really bother her much, which is a good thing. And we had a cat just come into the pen here. And uh, apparently she saw that. It yelled a little bit. So maybe she heard it and decided it wasn't going to be a threat to her. You know, it's hard to say. But so far, so good. Progress today. No jumping at, no jumping at monsters. And we're getting along here pretty well. Now I'm going to see if I can get her to bend around here. Go the other way a little bit. No, she's calmed her mouth down now. She's kind of accepted that bit. So that's what it's there for. Give her something to understand and figure out. She's a little bit, a little bit stiffer on her bend today to the right. Doesn't quite want to, see she's a little bit straight, a little bit pushy on her give. But I don't want to just really go to town and overcorrect that bend because we're looking for forward today. So. I'll give her a little bit of reinforcement. I won't let her take her head away from me like she's trying to do right there. But we're not go to we're not gonna go to we're not gonna go to upset mode here just because I'm not getting a perfect bend out of her. That all comes as we go along. As she gets more comfortable with packing me, moving her feet, and getting things going and lined out. Bending right now, bending perfectly is the least of my worries. Being able to get control of her head and not have her bunch up. is more important. Come on, sweetie, what's the problem here? Yeah. 
I can't entirely overlook that that bending, you know. When she, when I go to pick up on that rein, I want her to give a little bit here while we're going around here. And if she decides to get knotted up and hold that head over there or try to take it away from me, then I got to fix that, you know, and not allow her to do stuff like that. Irregardless of her bad side or her good side, that's just not acceptable for her to start getting bullheaded on me and not wanting to do what I ask here. see if I can just maybe get a touch of backing up here. Well, okay, we'll wait. As long as she goes forward, even if it's of her own free will and I'm not asking for it, on this ride, I'm not going to stop that. We'll work on We'll work on backing up a little bit later or whatever. It's about getting her comfortable with walking around here. Turning and bending and doing the things that she needs to do. Herself a little bit locked up here, obstinate with me. So we're just going to make life a little difficult here for her until she unlocks those hind quarters. Yeah. Now we'll try a little backing up here. Now what I do when I ask the horse to back up, I try and set them up because she's narrow and splayed out to hold to hold her balance here. I got to try and move her around and set her up a little bit, but I only use one rein at a time. I steady with one and just ask with the other a little bit to see if I can get a little bit of a step and back on one side or the other there. And I'd prefer her to move the foot that's forward and use that right rein to get it, but it might be a little bit too early in her program to ask for too much just yet. I got a step and I had to do it a little bit harder than what I wanted, but that's okay. And we can work on her bending we can work on her bending. If she gets better with moving, I can work on her bending on the rail so that I can use that fence to keep her from going forward and ride in close to that fence so that she has no choice but to bend her nose or run into the fence on her good side or her bad side.
Just had a, one of the brood mares come in from outside, from right behind her. And uh, she didn't quite notice it or couldn't quite focus on it. She went to get herself a little bit strung out there, but got it caught, settled her down, gave her the support she needed to figure out what it was and get through it. And that's what it's going to take with this horse. There's a lot of the, a lot of anticipation or forward observance of your surroundings to be able to to be able to deal with something like that and perhaps Perhaps have to do some follow-up maintenance. And keeping her calm, too. How long have we been going now? 13 minutes. All right. She's done good here. And we're not going to continue to keep hammering and pushing here. I'd like her to set herself up here a little bit better. Yeah. And get her get her shoulders up because she's a little bit she's a little bit weak in her shoulders she's a little bit weak in her shoulders too and a little bit downhill I might have done that a little too quick for her that time. Didn't set her up quite right, but that's all part of, you know, getting her to understand that sometimes it ain't going to be just slow and easy and she's going to have to figure out how to deal with it. Not being handled with kid gloves either, because if you do that, She's just going to turn into a spoilt little wuss that won't handle any pressure at all. So, yeah, I'm going to modify my my stuff with her and try and introduce new things to this to this side especially that might upset her or whatever. But she's still a horse. And she can still have an attitude and get a little bullheaded or a little bit bracy. And, and you have to incorporate the corrective things for that as well. Not just poo-poo them and say, oh, poor blind horse. She can't, she can't deal with that because she can't see out of that side. Well, if you start to do that and continue to do that, you're going to handicap her even more. So, you have to be able to judge what it takes to get something done, you know. And you still have to enforce things.
You can let go of it now. You don't have to hold it. See that? Her mouth conned right down. She's holding that bit in the proper place and she doesn't understand that she can let it go yet. That's her lesson for today. More progress up the chain of learning. And we're gonna probably let her soak tomorrow. I might come out here and pet on her a little bit or something, but I don't think I'm gonna ride her tomorrow. I kinda like to give them a couple of rides and if they go good, I want them to end on a good experience. And and stew on that overnight and perhaps look forward to me coming out here the next day and riding them. And Vic's sitting back there shaking her legs trying to get the circulation going. So we're going to cut that off right there and say have a great day.